welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share my sewing plans with you guys for 2022. Now for those of you that might be new to my channel or you might be old subscribers that haven't yet learnt my new niche on this channel, I am going to be learning how to sew in 2022. So my intention for 2022 is to be creating lots of garments for myself to become more intentional with my wardrobe but also to upskill myself. My hopes is that I can clearly explain myself along the way even though I am going to be learning how to sew. I'm hoping that I can document that in a somewhat clear way that you guys can also maybe learn to sew with me or maybe I can share some tips that I learn along the way as well. Now being relatively new to the sewing community I haven't heard a lot of terms before so there is a lot to take on but something that I recently heard of when I was looking at some sewing videos was make twin uh, sorry make nine 2021 um, so I assume this means that you set a goal for the entire year to make nine garments some people might set an intention to fix nine garments or maybe make nine garments from scratch I don't really know how it exactly works but the moment I heard that phrase it just made sense for me to not be overly ambitious and just to set my goal of nine pieces for the year. So that is what I'm going to be doing in today's video is sharing with you the exact patterns that I've added to my make nine goal in 2022. That's not to say that I won't make other things as well, but I wanted to be really clear with what I was going to be going into the year making. I've also gone on a bit of a fabric frenzy recently and bought quite a few really lovely fabrics so it's great to set a goal for them and share them with you guys. So if this sounds like something that you're interested in following along with or maybe just seeing what I get up to over 2022 then please consider subscribing down below and let me know in the comments if you've made any of the patterns that I'm about to embark on. So I have downloaded slash purchased I think four of these patterns that I'm about to share with you of the nine um, and of course I'll have everything linked down below um, along with where I got the fabrics from. So let's start off the year with um, the first pattern that I've actually gone to Officeworks and printed out in its entirety. The only thing holding me back from starting the creation process is that I need to get some tracing paper because I don't want to ruin the big, is it A0 or AO? I think it's A0 um, size pattern. So I am just waiting to find where I can get that from and also of course COVID has started to spread everywhere so I'm trying to avoid going out in public but I do need to get that and just start it. So the first garment of 22 that I'm going to be embarking on is the Reynolds dress from Helen's Closet. For this particular pattern this ranges in sizes from a 0 to a 34. I'm assuming that it is a US size chart um, but obviously as I'm coming to learn that the sizes don't really match what retailers sell necessarily. Some of them I guess do, some of them don't. This particular pattern was a USD $16, which I think came out to about 20 to 22 Australian dollars. And it also has two variations to the pattern. So you've got a dress and then you've also got the top. So for this dress, I was really torn with what fabric I would choose slash go with. Um, I really have this beautiful uh, rayon material, which I'm about to show you for another project in a moment. But I decided to go something a little bit more structured just to see how it goes with um, sorry just to see how it sits and then from there I can obviously make it in other pa um, other patterns slash fabrics should I want to down the track I also really like sewing with cotton and I think it's quite an easy fabric to start with so that is what I'm gonna be sewing with on this particular uh, pattern. It's this gorgeous really dark chocolate fabric. I have a real gem of a store near me. I'll have them linked down below. They're called East Coast Fabrics and they have extremely affordable prices. I think this was three or four dollars per meter and I think from memory I got three maybe four meters of that. 
My second make of the year is going to be a really basic make, um, but it's one of those staple items that I think once I know the skills of, it'll be a really handy tool in my tool belt. So this particular pattern is the core t-shirt from Closet Patterns, and this was a free um, pattern which was awesome. It comes as two versions, a short sleeve and a long sleeve, or maybe like a three-quarter sleeve, and it just looked like a really handy, like I said, basic tool to just know. The size guy for this was 0 to 32 and it was a free downloadable PDF. You do just need to go to check out as you would with like paying for anything but it does email you the PDF after. So this particular pattern is definitely a beginner <laughs> level um, so I'm hoping it'll be fairly simple. I just need to get the right fabric for it and looking at my current stash I'm not sure that I have an exact fabric that I'm willing to work with on this project so I may need to go to the shop to get some woven but I find that a really hard um, what's the word not genre but like type of fabric to find in stores is those stretch fabrics so if you have any suggestions on where to get that from at an affordable price please do let me know because I seem to struggle to get that sort of material the third garment of the year which I think is kind of ironic <laughs> is the March dress from Helen's Closet as well. Now this is another one that I've pre-purchased at the end of last year and printed out ahead of time. Um, it's just ready to cut and make. So I'm really excited to embark on that. It's ironic because it's the third month and it's gonna be March. Once again, I have not checked the pattern for how much fabric I'm gonna require. So I am hoping that I have enough of this particular fabric, but if it's not, that's fine. I'll just change up which fabric I use, but I just thought that I would try and get some gorgeous use out of this checker fabric from Spotlight. You may have seen over Christmas that I made some family pajamas with the red check version of this. I still have so much fabric left in that so I may also use that if I don't have enough fabric in this particular style. But they had the most gorgeous beigey light cream check and I got three meters of that, um, potentially three and a half. So I don't know that there will be enough fabric. This is all something that I'm gonna have to learn with time, with my measurements and with sewing garments and what style of garments, how much fabric I'm gonna require. So I'm really hopeful that I will have enough. I'm hesitant, but I'm hopeful <laughs> because I really think this would look stunning with the March design. Now the March dress is an intermediate level. So I am unsure at this stage if I will be adequate <laughs> in my skills to fulfill it. However, I am an ambitious gal, so I will definitely see how I feel at the at the time when I make the dress. So the size range for this pattern is a zero to a 30, and this was, again, a USD $16 for the pattern. So my fourth make for the year is going to be a pattern from Friday Pattern Co. The particular style I'm gonna be trying is the saltwater slip dress. And again, it comes as a PDF version for $20. I really liked the photo that was attached to this pattern. I liked that I could see how the style was going to sit on me as a plus size woman, but I also really liked seeing it as the short and the long version. I can't seem to find on the website the sewing level that it is, but it does mention various times throughout it that it is an easy slip dress to make so I'm going to assume it's beginner to advanced beginner level and I'm really excited to embark on it now this is the one I'm going to use the rayon fabric with however I would really like to try it with a satin or silk fabric maybe you guys can recommend what particular style of fabric works best for this but I am obsessed with this fabric have a look at this divine color. It is like a green slash mossy green slash lemongrass yellow. It is absolutely stunning and it is this most beautiful soft fabric. Um, at the moment it's got a pretty tatty ends because I have given it a wash and it does need to be overlocked, um, which I'm yet to also tackle. So that is another another 2022 goal is to figure out how to use my overlocker. The movement in the fabric is absolutely stunning. It is so soft. The color is so vibrant and it didn't lose that color in the wash either. Again, this is a fabric from East Coast Fabrics and I think I got about six meters, maybe five meters, and it was so affordable. I think in total it came to about 20 to $30 for this entire amount. 
Number five on my sewing list is the Medlow Robe from Muna and Broad. This is such a random sewing choice for me for 22. However, I am lacking a robe in my wardrobe and I thought it would be a really interesting sew um, slash garment to try and make. It does say it's a really easy, so it says out of difficulty one to five, it's a one. So I'm assuming that means beginners to advanced beginner. Um, and it looks really comfortable. I'm going to probably adjust its length because on the website it looks quite long. It does say a light to medium fabric. I'm really unsure though what fabric to go with. So again, if you have any suggestions on what would be a great robe uh, fabric to work with, I would be really appreciative of your help. I know that probably a satin would work really well, but I'm hoping to go something a little bit softer um, that might fall a little bit nicer and softer, maybe even a rayon, but then will that work as a robe? I'm really not sure. These are all the questions that I'm really not sure about. So if you have any suggestions there, that would be incredible. So this particular pattern is $14. Again, it doesn't specify if it's AUD or USD, and I haven't yet downloaded this PDF myself, so I'm not going to know until I go to pay for it, unfortunately. But this Another thing to note is the size chart is also slightly strange, um, strange to me. It goes off the alphabetical letters instead of numerical, so I guess every company does it their own way, which is, there's nothing wrong with. But when you're a beginner sewer, this can be quite confusing. So it goes from a size range A to an M. Again, I'll have to look at the size chart to know exactly where I sit within that, but these are all things that we are going to learn this year. <laughs> Now a creator that I'm absolutely obsessed with and I constantly go to her page for inspiration is Katie Parrott. Now she's an influencer but she's also a fellow sewist slash creative. So she also has an Instagram page called Katie Parrott Makes and she's got so many stunning designs that she has worked on over the years. I'm not sure how long she's been sewing for but I can assume it's some time. She's got lots and lots of lovely garments on her page that she shares and she shares how she makes them, where the patterns are from, um, and she's got lots of resources for plus size women who are looking to sew. So if you wanted any information, I would highly recommend checking her out. So this next garment that I am going to mention is inspired by Katie. She made an absolute stunning replica of this pattern, um, and it is called the Sadie Jumpsuit. Now the paper theory has it as a plain fabric, which I think does look really stunning, but Katie embarked on this beautiful fruit style pattern fabric and again it also looks really stunning. My only hesitancy with going with the pattern is that it can be I guess, um, well it definitely will be a challenge to make sure that the pattern stays aligned and making sure that I'm cutting it correctly and sewing it correctly. So that's a little bit of a fear but I have the most gorgeous fabric that I want to use for this. So this is the pattern that I have been holding on to for quite some time and like I said I've just always been very nervous to embark on using this within a project um, and it purely is because of the pattern being directional and of course not double sided so it is very overwhelming slash scary to think that this is going to be something that I will sew with. I may not choose to sew with this for the first version of the jumpsuit. I may make a plain version just to get my grips around how that pattern works and then maybe I can make more from there. But you know, I love to challenge myself. I love to think of myself as ambitious, even though I'm going to probably muck up sometimes. I know that and I need to just embrace that I'm not going to have perfection. So let me know if you think that this fabric will work. From memory, this is a thicker 100% cotton. It is a lot more structural though, so I don't know if that's going to work with this jumpsuit. I'm going to assume so, um, but again, I'm going to live and learn. Next on my list is another inspirational piece from Katie Parrott. Um, the pattern is not from Katie Parrott, but I found the inspiration through her page. But it is the Arthur Pants from So Liberated. Now this is an advanced beginner pattern. So again, hopefully I will be able to know what I'm doing. This will hopefully be towards the end of the year that I embark on this. This particular pattern is $16 again, and I'm not sure if that's USD or AUD. <laughs> Katie pulled off these pants 
absolutely stunningly. In fact, I much prefer how they look on her and how she created them versus what the pattern photo looks like. Because if I'd have just seen the pattern photo, I would never have thought to add that to my make list. But Katie just had this way of just wearing them, styling them. I don't know if she added extra fabric or what it was, but it looks so nice and balloony. I think it's a linen-y fabric that she's using, maybe a linen cross cotton, I'm not too sure. Um, so I'm not too sure that I've got a fabric right now for that particular style. The eighth project that I'm gonna be taking on this year is the Heather Chandler Pantsuit from the Friday Pattern Company. This looks like an incredibly challenging slash scary slash long pattern to do, but when it's done, I have this feeling it's going to look insane. Now, am I someone who has a lot of patience? No, I'm not. <laughs> so this could be a risk, but I'm really excited to at least give it a go. And because you are getting a bundle in this, it is, um, I guess, more affordable. It comes to $27. I'm gonna assume Australian. Now, again, we've got that strange sizing, which says 1X to 7X, so it's like hard to say exactly what sizes that is, um, but I'm hoping it's my size. <laughs> I have this absolutely stunning linen fabric from Spotlight. I got this when it was on sale. I think around about 40 or 50 dollars it came to for the total amount of this fabric and I'm pretty sure I got five to six meters of it. Now the last project for 22 is a really unexciting one. Unexciting? Not exciting. Um, but it is a basic and I think it's one of those important tools to learn and that is underwear. So these are the Stevie underwear from the Paper Theory and they were a free pattern. So I am going to be embarking on this. Any tips for plus size underwear would be appreciated. Again, I'm going to need the right fabric for this. So I'm not too sure where to get that from or yeah, how it's going to go, but I'm excited to learn. And I think this is going to be one of those really quick patterns once I know how to do it. I think it's going to take a little bit of time to get the concept and then once I've got it it'll just be like that. Here's hoping. Well there you have it that is my make nine slash potentially ten or more um, plans for sewing in 2022. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. I may be being very overly ambitious with this but I'd rather go into the year having a plan set out with exactly what fabric and makes that I'm intending on doing. If I don't get there, then I don't get there. I cannot wait to share these makes with you through 2022. If you guys can't wait to see me embark on them, that includes all of the unpicking, hopefully successes, <laughs> then make sure to go down below and subscribe to my channel. See you guys very soon for my very first project. <laughs> Bye. Done this before you fire. I won't catch you, don't know I'm stolen. Cause you love to have them mm all -hmm. Gonna be sweet, eh? Tell me. Love.